Hi guys, and welcome to Strength Universe. Often overlooked, Tom McGee was a highly talented athlete and later a successful powerlifter, bodybuilder, and strongman. But how strong was he? Thomas McGee was born in Winnipeg, Canada on July 1, 1958. In his early years, Tom was a gifted athlete who excelled in numerous sports including boxing, football, gymnastics, karate, and track and field. Tom first started to lift weights at 13 years old. However, it wasn't until he was 19 that he would take training more seriously, and shortly thereafter, he began powerlifting. He first competed at the 1980 USPF Record Breakers competition, where he totaled 1,750 pounds to finish in second place. In July the following year, Tom won the 1981 Canadian National Powerlifting Championships, where he competed in the 275-pound weight class. There, he achieved a 750-pound squat, 490-pound bench press, and a 766-pound deadlift to total over 2,000 pounds. In November of that year, Tom entered two more competitions, finishing runner-up at the IPF World Championships and the USPF West Coast Open. At the later competition, he performed a squat of 800 pounds, bench press of 525, and finally pulled 790 pounds in the deadlift to total 2,115 pounds. 1982 catapulted Tom to the top of powerlifting. In July, he won his second consecutive Canadian National Championships with a total of 2,077.8 pounds, before winning IPF World Championships just over three months later. Tom's standout performances earned him an invitation to compete at the 1982 World's Strongest Man, where he was up against some of the best powerlifters of that era. At almost 6 foot 5 inches tall, Tom was the second tallest competitor at the competition. Although his 285 pounds of body mass meant that he was considerably lighter than the 360 pound Bill Dunn, 335 pound Bill Kazmaier, and 320 pound Jeff Capes, the difference in body weight would partly come into play in the first event. The truck pull in which the top two places went to Casimir and Capes, Tom finished down in seventh place. However, the huge discrepancy in performances between the blue and yellow lanes made the results of the event a complete farce. The second event was the log lift, where despite his lack of experience, Tom managed to press the 320-pound log to finish in joint third and move up the leaderboard to fifth place overall. McGee put in another impressive performance in the 56-pound weight throw to finish third with a height of 15 feet 6 inches. This result saw him move up to fourth overall, a position that McGee held on to despite finishing in fifth place in the barbend event, although he was now only a single point ahead of John Gamble. McGee's static strength and athleticism were far more conducive to the final five events that saw him take second place in the caber toss before comfortably winning the roading race to climb the third place overall. The next event was the front hold, an event that was ill-suited to McGee's long arms, but despite this he still managed a respectable fourth place finish, beating leaders Capes and Casimir in the process and propelling himself into second place overall. The max squat followed and saw McGee put in another inspiring performance to take a joint victory and cemented his second place on the leaderboard. Now well ahead of third place Jeff Capes, and only four points behind leader Bill Kazmaier going into max deadlift, McGee pulled 926 pounds to secure a joint second place finish to maintain second place overall. The final event was wrestling, an event that had almost nothing to do with strength, favoured the heavier competitors and was worth double points. To stand a chance of winning, McGee would need to win the event and hope that Kazmaier finished in fourth or worse a result that didn't materialize. McGee finished his inaugural World's Strongest Man competition as runner-up to the three-time champion and possibly the strongest man of all time, Bill Kazmaier. 1983 got off to a great start when Tom won the British Columbia Champions and in doing so he set new personal records with an 827-pound squat, 573-pound bench press and an 804-pound deadlift to total 2,204.6 pounds. In November, Tom returns to the world's strongest man. Hi, my name's Tom McGee. I'm from British Columbia, Canada, residing in Vancouver. This year, the competition had undergone significant changes for the first time since its inception that saw a reduction in events. A truly international lineup of athletes 
and the absence of the reigning champion. This year started with a test of the athlete's grip strength in the farmer's walk that proved to be too much for Tom as he finished down in fifth place. He put in a much better performance in the bar bend, finishing in the runner-up spot, resulting in him moving up to fourth place overall. The third event was the Max Deadlift, an event that was well suited to the powerlifters of the competition with the European and World Powerlifting Champions battling it out for the two top places. McGee came out on top by pulling a new world record of 535 kilograms that would remain unbeaten for the following 37 years. McGee's outstanding performance moved him into joint first place overall. The energy that Tom had expelled in the deadlift showed in the next two events, where he finished the truck pull and then the rock press in fourth. Despite these average results, he maintained second place position on the leaderboard. Tom achieved another second place finish in the weight throw, finishing just behind winner Jeff Capes. Tom had now slipped into joint second place overall. Sadly, his competition went downhill from here when Tom finished the vertical lift in seventh, effectively putting pay to his chance of winning the competition. Things went from bad to worse in the final event, when he gassed out and finished in last place. Despite his poor performance in the final couple of events, Tom completed the competition in a respectable fourth place. In 1984, Tom competed at and won the inaugural Le Defi Mark 10 International. He then competed as a bodybuilder, winning the title of Mr. British Columbia. The following year, McGee won his second consecutive Le Defi Mark 10 International competition. It was around this time that he started to train and compete in stampede wrestling, and this may well be the reason for his sub-par performance at the 1985 World's Strongest Man, where he slipped to fifth overall. McGee took his third and final consecutive win at the 1986 Le Defi Mark 10 International, where he comfortably beat that year's World's Strongest Man, John Paul Sigmundson. For the next four years, McGee focused his attention on wrestling, in which he had early success after being named third runner-up for the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Rookie of the Year in 1986. McGee was signed by the WWF shortly thereafter, where he defeated Bret Hart on October 7, 1986 in Rochester, New York, the infamous match reportedly impressing WWF Chairman Vince McMahon. After his initial success, McGee's appearances would become more sporadic and he would fall from the limelight that was largely blamed on his lack of personality. McGee retired from wrestling in 1990 and appeared in several low-budget movies, most notably a film titled Stone Cold, as well as a cameo in Alligator 2. McGee went on to work as a personal trainer at Gold's Gym, Venice Beach. In May 2018, McGee would sadly make international news when he was savagely assaulted by six men in front of his home in Mar Vista, California. McGee suffered a broken jaw, broken eye socket and concussion. During his career as a strength athlete, McGee was a two-time Canadian national powerlifting champion and holder of every Canadian powerlifting record in his weight class, IPF world powerlifting champion and runner-up at the 1982 World's Strongest Man. He won the Ladelli Mark 10 International three times consecutively and set a strongman world record for the 18-inch deadlift. While it would be a very long stretch to consider Tom McGee among the strongest men of all time, he was one of the strongest of his era. That's it for today's video, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please support my channel by hitting like, sharing the video and subscribing for more. Thank you.